Last one, car four. Byron, top to bottom, hugs that white line, drifts up and comes to the line. Oh. He wins it as Busher, Haley have a hard crash into the wall. Yeah, so the seat bracket is something that, that NASCAR has, I mean, it's, it's been a mandatory part of the safety system of the car. The part that, that we've run has been the same for several years until earlier this season. We, we had an accident at the race at Atlanta, saw some stuff with the seat bracket that we didn't really like, and decided it was time to do a redesign on it. RFK came to us uh, with this upper seat bracket and their current production process was basically bending this component out of sheet metal. Uh, they had their gussets of the part and they welded those together. They wanted to take it to the next level and actually have a fully machined uh, component uh, from a solid piece of steel. Within Fastenal Manufacturing of our, our two new fifth axis machines, it, it was a perfect timing for us to be able to, to meet that challenge and, and provide them the part they were looking for. Probably uh primary advantage is that it's a, a billet construction. It, it's made from one piece of steel. There's no inconsistencies in the part and allowed us to keep the weight identical basically to the part that we were running before, but the strength was nearly double. They did a really good job on the machining side. It's a very difficult part to make. Typically when you machine a big billet part like that and it's, it's that thin, you get a lot of warping, uh, like internal stress in the part. They did a really good job stress relieving it beforehand. It came out nice and perfectly flat. It was really good. When we quoted the upper seat bracket, we basically had uh, all of our processes in place. We knew what we had to do. The one variable that we did have was going to be the stress relieving process. Keep in mind, this was a 48 pound chunk of steel that we're going to machine down to a 1.6 pound component. The part did exactly what we hoped for. Um, it didn't move. It didn't flex. Um, and that's ex exactly what we wanted to see. We got to the first part and we had to do a couple tweaks. Uh, we made those uh, slight alterations in our programming and we had our first finished component. An additional advantage of working with Fastenal is they were able to turn these parts around really quickly. Uh, from the time we set them the drawing to the, to the time the parts were here was, was impressive. It was impressive enough that we've already sent them the next project and uh, those are due here in, in the next couple weeks. You know, our, our strengths in, manu in manufacturing is simply the broad nature of our capabilities. And if we cannot make a part, we have a substantial subcontracting base in place to be able to give that customer a solution. We often know where a lot of our, our components are going. We have a general idea of the customers we're dealing with and where those components go, but a lot of times we don't. And um, in this instance, we know exactly where this component's going. We know exactly what it does. And that's, that's a lot of fun for the machine that's working on the parts on the shop floor, to the sales folks. It, it, it's, a, it's a fun project to be able to see that end result and, and be able to see it on TV.